This is Dr. Tuckman. I'm going to be presenting a couple of videos on hand and wrist nerve blocks, specifically digital, median, and ulnar. For a digital nerve block, you're going to need 1% lidocaine. You can use 2%, but be careful with toxicity. You can also mix in a 50-50 mix of Marcaine, uh, which will extend your block to approximately 6 to 12 hours. This technique I found is the easiest, as well as gives you the highest chance of getting a 100% block every time. As a general rule, I never inject into the finger itself. Going proximal, you can put in significantly more volume, as well as decreases your risk of injuring a digital nerve. Uh, also find that uh, by going into a crease, uh, it has significantly less pain than going into the regular glabrous skin over the palm of the hand. With this technique, just inject the local right under the skin. Uh, it will diffuse to uh, both digital nerves, which are two millimeters on either side of the flexor sheath. Doesn't matter how deep or superficial you go, uh, you'll get the block 100% of the time. Uh, inject approximately five to seven cc's. I always inject dorsally. It guarantees you a 100% block, and you want to raise a wheel just under the skin, uh, going from all the way radial to ulnar across the base of the finger. The block takes approximately five minutes to start working. For a median nerve block, you can use the same local, either 1% or you can also add in some Marcaine as well. You'll typically need a large volume. Uh, if you have a 20cc syringe, that would be the best, uh, as well as a 10cc syringe. Uh, you can use three 10cc syringes if needed. Uh, what the old saying is what you lack in technique you can make up for in volume. Uh, that is absolutely true here. This block can also be used very effectively for the thumb. I think the reason that uh, thumb blocks typically fail uh, is because they're branches of the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve uh, that comes really very far distal and comes over the palmar aspect of the thumb all the way distal to the tip. Uh, and it really is very important to block these nerves as well. There are two palpal tendons over the palmar aspect of the wrist, the palmaris longus as well as the flexor carpi radialis. The median nerve is sitting typically right below the palmaris longus. Uh, if the patient does not have a palmaris longus, basically go just in the middle portion of the wrist, uh, halfway between radial and ulnar. The median nerve is sitting just deep to fascia. The key is to get that local under the fascia. You'll see in the video, as I inject superficially, I'll raise a concentrated wheel. Then as I keep going deeper, that subcutaneous wheel stops rising and you'll see the whole area start to fill. The needle is inserted subcutaneously, concentrated wheel is raised, needle is then inserted deep to fascia, and you can see the area under the fascia is starting to fill with local put in approximately 10 to 20 cc's. The syringe can be changed out. The injection is then taken subcutaneously to get the branches, the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Don't worry about the radial artery, just go subcutaneous. And then take that injection all the way radial to get branches of the radial nerve as well. This block can take up to 10 to 15 minutes to start working. Another option for the thumb is to block just the thumb alone. You'll need either a 20cc syringe or two 10cc syringes. The injection is placed subcutaneously over the volar aspect of the thumb proximal to the metacarpophalangeal joint. You do not need to direct the needle in either direction of the digital nerves. Inject 10cc subcutaneously and you will get both of the nerves. As with the other technique, you do want to do a ring block to get branches of the lateral antibrachial cutaneous as well as branches of the radial. Inject subcutaneously and you want to come all the way dorsal as well as all the way across the base of the thumb. This block takes approximately five minutes to start working. For an ulnar nerve block, you will need one 20cc syringe or two 10cc syringes. The ulnar nerve sits just radial to the flexor carpi ulnaris. Easiest way to get to it is to go just dorsal of this tendon. You can feel the tendon on the palmar ulnar side of the wrist. 
the needle is inserted just dorsal to the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. The needle is inserted approximately one centimeter. It is aspirated and then injected to ensure you're not in the ulnar artery and 10 cc's is injected. You also have to block the dorsal sensory nerve as well. Start the injection dorsally and ulnarly and then wrap that injection subcutaneously around the ulnar side of the wrist to link up with your last injection site. This block takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes to start working. Thanks for watching this video. I encourage you to leave comments and let me know what you think.